Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to use this video to share some thoughts I've been having for quite a while now uh, in regards to Mormonism. And uh, I haven't been making too many videos on Mormonism for quite a number of reasons. Uh, one of those reasons being I don't feel like I've put the amount of study in uh, that I need to uh, to start making, you know, um, arguments. Uh, I do have my opinions, but uh, I, I like to really study things out before I start doing that. Uh, but anyways, uh, I just wanted to bring up some things that um, I've been thinking about as I've been having discussions with Mormons. And I do a lot of private discussions, um, you know, in this past year, I guess in 2008. Uh, I've had Mormon missionaries over, and we've discussed a lot of things. And uh, there's one thing in, in particular I wanted to raise, and... Um, I guess it's it's honestly kind of frustrating, and what I'm about to say, probably everyone's going to be able to relate to, to some extent, if you've had any conversation with Mormons. And it's the whole issue of, uh, you know, the Bible being changed, and I don't think you could sit through a conversation with Mormon missionaries without them saying something like, um, you know, the Bible is true only as far as it's been translated correctly. And what is really the most frustrating about this whole thing is that you know you know we want to have this common ground and, and if you're a Mormon watching this one of the reasons why Christians will uh, use the Bible uh, in discussion with you is because we want to find a common ground we want to use something that you know hopefully we both agree on and that is the Bible being the Word of God and obviously we don't believe that the Book of Mormon is the Word of God so we're not going to use that um, as our common ground, and so that's why we use the scriptures. Uh, the problem is, though, you know, when we try to point out uh, flaws or errors in Mormonism using the Bible, there's this tendency, and this happens almost all the time, um, it's, and it's usually when uh, a Mormon isn't, I don't want to say humble, but, uh, you know, they don't always say, I don't know the answer to that. Uh, usually they'll say, well, we only believe the Bible as far as it's been translated correctly, and they will say that, you know, how do you know your translation is correct? Um, you know, the Bible's been changed so many times, we don't really know what it said there. And uh, this just seems way too convenient. It, it really, really does. You know, it almost seems like a cop-out. and It just makes the discussion very, very difficult. Um, let me give you an example of this. Um, you know, one of the first stories that Mormon missionaries will discuss with you is the first vision where uh, Joseph Smith claimed to have seen the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And, you know, one thing we'll bring up is, you know, John 1.18, uh, no man has seen God at any time. And, uh, you know, Mormons who really, you know, know their theology... Uh, may not use the cop-out explanation of the Bible has been changed so many times, we don't know what it really said there. You know, a lot of them may actually have <laughs> maybe a more um, well-thought-out uh, theological opinion than merely stating the Bible's been changed so many times. But what's often the case is Mormons, uh, usually Mormon missionaries, aren't really going to know the answer to that question and they will use that explanation of the Bible's been changed so many times. And uh, when they usually say things like this, um, I usually challenge that. And, you know, first they'll say that they believe the King James Bible is correct. You know, I have my issues with the King James, but if you want to use the King James Bible um, in discussing with me, I'm totally cool with that. Um, but the problem is, uh, when you press them on this issue of whether the Bible's been translated correctly or transmitted correctly, um, usually they don't really uh, know where to go with that. It just seems like maybe they're uh, church leaders or um, wherever they went to train to be missionaries just told them this stuff about the Bible being corrupted and they, you know, they just repeat it. And so... Uh, I just want to give Mormons just some uh, things to think about just to make these conversations more productive because you don't get very far. Um, if you're a Mormon and you want to share Christians, uh, your beliefs, um, you're not going to get very far if you just tell them that, you know, the Bible is corrupt, hasn't been translated accurately, has not been transmitted accurately, 
and uh, you know where are you going to go with the conversation? We're not going to pr just presuppose that Joseph Smith is who he claimed to be. We're not going to do that. We need to know that you know the Book of Mormon is consistent with the revelation that's already been given. And so, but besides that, um, another reason why I don't think you should take this approach if you're a Mormon and and claiming that the Bible is corrupted is because most of the time you really don't know what you're talking about. And I mean that with all due respect. And the reason I say that is because I've challenged Mormons on some very basic issues because the one who makes the claim is the one who bears the burden. And I feel like that is a pretty fair standard. So if you're going to tell me that my Bible has been corrupted or it's not translated correctly, I'm going to ask you to back up your claim. And there are Mormons out there um, who really do understand issues pertaining to textual criticism. And if you can uh, answer my questions and uh, just get past that, that statement of the Bible has not been translated correctly, if you can get past that and actually back it up, uh, you've got my respect. I can, I can deal with that because I deal with that with skeptics. You know, like the people who read misquoting Jesus and they claim the Bible's been corrupted and they can state a few, few reasons why. I mean, I can work with that, but when a Mormon makes this claim and they can't back it up, um, I've got serious problems with that and it really doesn't look good and it doesn't make me really um, want to respect Mormons as much as uh, they want my respect. It's just really hard to give it when they make these kind of claims. And they can't back it up. It'd be like me making a claim about your church and not being able to back it up. And that would be, um, on my part, just disrespectful. Um, but anyway, uh, when you make claims like um, the Bible's been corrupted, really try to look into what that actually means. For example, uh, if you're a Mormon, do you know the difference between transmission and translation? And... I've asked Mormons this question and they don't know the answer to that. And that's just the most basic, most basic thing that anyone who knows anything about the history of the Bible should know. Or what about a term called tenacity? Does that term make sense to you? Or what about a textual variant? Or textual criticism? I mean, if you don't understand these basic terms, then you really shouldn't be making claims about biblical corruption. I mean, if you haven't read even one of the most basic standard works on the issue of textual criticism, then you really shouldn't be making these claims. Or, you know, if you haven't studied something out, um, don't make these claims about textual corruption. Because it really hinders the conversation, because we want these conversations to, to progress. And so, whenever I want to talk about doctrine, it doesn't do us any good for every time I bring up a text that contradicts your beliefs. Uh, that you're just going to claim, well, well uh, that just wasn't in the original Bible. The Bible's been changed. The Bible has been corrupted. You know, that really um, is not good enough for me. I'm sorry, but it's not. So uh, I really hope that you can think about some of these things and um, just really look into these claims that you make. And don't just take your, your leader's word for it. If you think the Bible's been corrupted, ask yourself, why do you believe that? Do you have any basis for believing that. So I appreciate you watching and I hope any Mormons watching this will uh, really take some of these things into consideration so that we can really um, interact on these very, very important issues, especially in our day. Thanks for watching.